today I'm here with my February favorite. I don't have a lot of products. I have just a couple because I was basically sticking to my favorite product. This video might be a bit repetitive. I might show the products that I've already shown to you guys, but hopefully you don't mind that. And I'm gonna start with skincare. So the first um, product is this John Masters Organics Jojoba and Ginseng Exfoliating Face Cleanser that comes in this really nice glass bottle and I've used quite a bit of it. Now it's a really really nice face cleanser. I use it at night every single day and believe me it's not really exfoliating. Really what it does it just removes all the makeup, all the dirt from your face and it ha it's more like massaging rather than exfoliating because it has some beads but it's only a few of them, they're not abrasive at all, it doesn't uh, irritate your skin, it doesn't leave it red, it's just like really gentle with a couple of beads that you know give you a little bit of a massage. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not like full of beads like your normal exfoliant would be. So yeah, I've been really enjoying that one. The only downside is the scent. I really don't like it at all, but it's a really lovely cleanser. Some other face products I've been really enjoying are my Super Drug Masks. I've talked about them. I have three of them, exfoliating one and uh, these two, but these are my favorite. Um, this is Refreshing Cucumber Peel-Off Mask. So I love it because I just love the process of like peeling it off, it feels like you're removing a layer of your skin. I don't know, it's just like very satisfactory sensation. You see all the dirt come off. Another one is hydrating one because I've, I think I have really dehydrated skin. Uh, like between my eyebrows and my forehead, it's like a really flaky dry area under my eyes, around my nose. It's pretty dry. I, I normally have super oily skin, like I need to powder a lot, but at some areas it's really dehydrated. So I've been using this mask to put back moisture into the really dry areas and I would leave it for 10 to 15 minutes in the evening and just, I don't know, do something on computer while it's working its magic into my skin. And I've noticed it's, it's a slightly oily, it's like a very creamy, rich mask you put it on and i feel like it's it, my skin is really kind of greasy and hydrated but when you wash it off your skin feels really plump and i really noticed that this mask helped reduce the dryness in my skin that's why i really like this one another product is my nude have them in lip balm and uh, some of you said you don't like this lip balm i don't know how someone would not like this lip balm because it's amazing i'm so in love with it it smells of lemons and um, I've used quite a bit of it already. I use it every night, every morning. If I have any like dryness or flakiness, it just it just restores my lips. And uh, it's great as a base for lipsticks. So if you don't like it as a lip balm, you don't find it moisturizing, then you can just use it as a base for a lipstick because, um, I mean, it's great. If you're gonna use a matte lipstick, you usually need to moisturize your lips and uh, having a, like a slippery, glossy lip balm and then lipstick on top doesn't really work. Uh, so this is a great one because it's matte. This is really random and I think only Lithuanian girls can get it. This is VIX acetone-free nail polish remover with rose oil. The reason I like it so much, it's First, because it smells nice. It smells of roses. The main reason I like it is because it has this kind of pump. You put a cotton pad, you pump it, and then nail polish remover comes off. And it's just like very, I don't know, very clean. There's no spillage or anything. I, I really like it. I've talked about this numerous times. Rimmel Notting Hill, Notting Hill Nude Lipstick. Love this stuff because it's a beautiful, like, mm, caramel peachy nude color it's just so beautiful it's like a really really nude warm nude without any pink in it the other lip products are my burberry lip liners these are hands down the best lip liners they're so pigmented so smooth and creamy and uh, the texture is just amazing and so are the colors um so today I'm wearing rosewood and I'm wearing it instead of a lipstick. Just a lip liner all over my lips. I slightly 
outline them but not too much another one which i do prefer because it matches my lips completely it's such a beautiful color it's um nude beige oh actually i should swatch them for you guys that one is rosewood you can see it's darker it's more pink i guess and this is nude beige a very like light beigey color and uh, yeah i love it they're so beautiful rujac cream blush in nude velvet i've talked about this many many times this peachy very light kind of apricot color what's nice about it is that even if you have super oily skin like i do you can wear it because it's velvety texture you know it's not like one of those cream blushes that are like dewy and like sticky not at all this is even though it's a cream blush it's really matte and kind of velvety soft texture so i just use my fingers apply it on my cheeks and it doesn't really look like i have a ton of blush on it just kind of lifts my face and adds some color to it benefit what's up highlighter i do love my amber diamond by dior but i th think i prefer this one you blend it out and you have this golden champagne glow it really does look like you have really high cheekbones which is just, oh, I love everything about it. Not too many products this month, but hopefully you enjoyed it nonetheless. And have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.